Laura Kobach with the Trinity Cowell. Mr. Cowell, what do you think? Your Honor, I think if they're recommending community control, we would agree with that. Uh, she's a low risk on the ORAS. But low to moderate, to be fair to the ORAS. She was negative when tested in this case, which is a uh, huge plus for her. It also indicated that she's employed and working. Uh, Where does she work at? She was a, uh, uh, a waitress. She's getting three dollars an hour plus tips. Right. Scott. Sal's menu. Who's that? Twenty fifth and Denison. Really? Yes. Up by uh, Metro. Yes. Up for Metro. Yeah. Okay. I'd also indicate to you, Judge, that. Uh, she gives a terrific answer when questioned by the probation department as to why she did this. She said that uh, I let stress dictate a decision. I should have gone to an AA meeting, which oh, is one true. of the best answers I've seen in a long time for for taking responsibility for your action. We would ask that uh, you also consider, although she has a lengthy record, she hasn't had any convictions since 19 or since 2004. That's true. So she's going approximately uh, seven years without a conviction. And a yeah, she did do some inpatient treatment. And also it's so we would ask that you uh, put her on uh, non-residential community control, uh, possibly with the requirement that she attend AA or NA meetings on a regular basis and be evaluated to see if she needs any additional assistance with her uh, job problems. All right. Thank you, Honor. What do you think, Ms. Yes, sure. Good morning. Um, Good morning. Yes, I haven't been in trouble since 04. And I've been attending AA meetings, and like I said, I was real stressed out <clears throat> at that day. I was taking care of my mom and my two brothers that are mentally ill, and I should have gone to an AA meeting. Uh, I let that stress dictate my decision that day. Where do you live? I live in Cleveland. Where at? 12512 Sprecher by 130th and Park. She'd be eligible. You have a license? No, they suspended it. The driving privileges.